Hello everyone, and welcome back to another lesson from the Bible with me, Pastor Doug. Today, we're going to be talking about temptation, <laughs> which is this word right here, and specifically how to say no to temptation. <laughs> but what is it, and how do we resist it? Well, that is what we're going to be talking about. Let's take a look at our main point. Jesus helps me resist temptation. Say that with me, ready? Jesus helps me resist temptation. Good job. Parents, teachers, don't forget that you can go to faithfield.com slash curriculum to download free resources for this lesson. But the greatest resource is something you already have. Invite the Holy Spirit to help you as you teach and train your kids. All right, let's get started. Enjoy your lunch. Dusty's You're very part? welcome. Where am I coming on? Sarah, what's the matter? You look like hey, you Dusty. Your best friend. Oh, hi, Amelia. I was just about to go outside. Want to come? Uh, Today, yeah, okay. on this well, channel, let me just turn the this strange off. case of Dr. Heckle and Mr. Snide, gregarious gentleman or dangerous villain. Is he responsible for the heinous verbal assaults disturbing the people of Pleasantville? Teasing taunts and rattling ridicules haunt the otherwise mild-mannered village. Click here to find out more. <laughs> Did you see that? See what? See what? See that? Uh, Dr. Heckle and Mr. Snide, the dangerously verbal villain. Or is he? Or are they? Oh, I can't wait to find out. All you have to do is click here. Wait, Dusty, are you sure that's a good idea? I'm pretty sure that will give you nightmares. And didn't Doug say you're not supposed to watch it? Well, I don't know. Maybe. Okay, yeah, I guess he did say that one time. Come on, let's go outside and play. Uh, uh, okay. All right, everyone. It's time to play Syllable Scramble. Correctly guess the order of the letters and sound out the word before the timer runs out. Ready? Go! If you said resist, that's correct. When we resist something, we oppose or act against it. Thanks for playing Syllable Scramble. I'm going to find you, Dusty. What was that? Aha. No. <laughs> you may have a good nose, but nothing gets past these eyes. Got you this time. There you are. Oh, man. I forgot I'm allergic to azaleas. Okay, okay. My turn to hide. You count. Can we go inside now? I haven't got a turn yet. Go count. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, I just can't stop thinking about that show. I know we're not allowed to watch it, but it seems so cool. Uh, Amelia? Uh, I just need to go back inside for a minute. I, um, uh, I left my collar in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, wait. Dusty doesn't even have a collar. Dusty, don't. Gotta watch it, gotta watch it, gotta see what happens. Huh. Loading? No! Oh, no, why? Oh, what am I doing? This doesn't even feel right. My tummy feels strange. Hmm. Is it because I'm hungry? No, well, that's not it. Is it because I'm sick? No, I don't think so. That's not it either. Oh, come on. I just want to watch the video. Why is it taking so long? Oh, 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 what am I even doing? Doug and Amelia are probably right. I shouldn't be watching this. I mean, it sure sounds like fun, but it will probably give me nightmares. Press play. No, don't press play. Press play. Don't press play. Press play. Don't press play. Oh, if only I knew what to do. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. I won't do it. Uh, won't do what? Oh, ah, Doug, don't sneak up on people like that. <laughs> I wasn't sneaking. Doug, I really want to watch Dr. Heckle and Mr. Snide. I know I shouldn't. It's probably too scary. And I also know that you said I wasn't allowed. But, you know, not until I'm older. But I really wanted to. But I didn't. But I really wanted to. But I didn't. But I really wanted to. But I didn't. But I... Well, you get the picture. <laughs> okay, okay. It sounds like you're really having a hard time with this, Dusty. Um, it's got you all tied up in knots. Yeah, that is what it feels like. Like I'm all tied up in knots, even in my stomach. Kids, do you know what's making Dusty feel this way? Oh, yeah, they're smart. They'll know. Hey, kids, uh, you know what's going on? Tell your old pal Dusty, huh? Dusty. What's that? I can't really hear him. A little louder, kids. Temptation! Temptation! Whoa, okay, whoa, no need to yell. Mm, I believe what they said was inflation or possibly hesitation. It's a bit hard to tell, you know, because of the yelling and all. No, 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 uh, Dusty, I think what they said was temptation. Oh, right, yep, yep, temptation. That's what they said. Uh, Doug? Yeah. What is temptation? Oh, right. <laughs> well, temptation, let's see, that's, um, it's when you feel like doing something that you know you shouldn't do, or when somebody or something is trying to get you to, to do wrong. Oh, yep, yep, I knew that. I was just testing you after all. Way to go, kids, you figured it out. I told you they were smart, Doug. <laughs> yeah, they are pretty smart. So you're facing temptation, Dustin. Oh, yeah. Big time. You see, I really wanted to watch the show, even though you told me it wasn't a good idea. Uh, I don't want to disobey, you know, but um, I do want to watch the show. Well, thanks for sharing that with me, Dusty. You see, actually doing just that very thing is an important first step. But I also want to say that it's normal to face temptation. We all face it. In fact, we we'll likely all face it every single day. Every day? You mean it's always going to be this hard? Well, temptation is hard, that's why it's tempting. But there are some things that we can do to resist temptation faster and more easily. <gasps> what, what? Well, why don't I tell you by sharing with you a story from the Bible, a time when even Jesus was tempted. No. Yeah, let's check it out. Okay, let's watch. Your powers are weak, old serpent. Oh, we'll see about that. Oh, <laughs> hi there. Have you ever wondered where temptation comes from? Temptation primarily comes from the devil or Satan. You remember the story of Adam and Eve, right? Where the serpent tempted them to rebel against God, to sin. And ever since then, he's been leading people astray. But there was one person who he tried to tempt, Jesus, and he was unsuccessful. This happens long after the Garden of Eden, though. In fact, after Moses and David and all the kings of Israel, even after the time of the exile. Jesus was born a baby in a manger, and he grew up, and when he was around 30 years old, well, that's where our story starts. 
Jesus first went to his cousin John the Baptist to be baptized in the Jordan River, and the Holy Spirit descended on him in the form of a dove, and God the Father spoke out from heaven. That's when the Holy Spirit led Jesus into the wilderness. You can read this story in the book of Luke, chapter 4, verses 1 to 13. In the wilderness, Jesus fasted and prayed, which meant that he didn't eat any food at all. He wandered the desert, praying and being with God the Father. He did this for 40 days. At the end of the 40 days, Jesus would have been extremely hungry, not to mention tired. And that's when the devil took this opportunity to tempt Jesus. He wanted him to rebel against God, to sin, in the very same way that he tempted Adam and Eve so long ago in the garden. Satan said, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become bread. Jesus responded, It is written, Man doesn't live only on bread. He also lives on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Oh man, talk about some major temptation. I mean, imagine not eating for 40 days. How hungry would you be? And then someone tempts you with a, a bite of bread? That would be nearly overwhelming. But Jesus didn't sin. He resisted the temptation. But the devil didn't give up. In fact, he tried even harder to tempt Jesus into sin. The devil took Jesus to Jerusalem and stood him on the top of the temple. He said, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down. It is written, The Lord will command his angels to take good care of you. They will lift you up in their hands. They won't let you trip over a stone. Jesus replied, It is also written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. You see, Satan was trying to twist God's very words against Jesus, just like he did with Adam and Eve in the garden once again. But Jesus could see what was happening, and he wasn't going to fall for it. Once again, Jesus resisted temptation. But the devil still wasn't finished. He really wanted to get Jesus to give in to temptation and sin. So this time, the devil took Jesus to a tall mountain. From there, he showed Jesus all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. Then he said, If you bow down and worship me, I will give you all of this. Jesus said to the enemy, Get away from me, Satan. It is written, Worship the Lord your God. He is the only one you should serve. Then the devil left Jesus, and angels came and took care of him. Once again, Jesus used the word of God to resist temptation. Jesus faced temptation the same as you and me. The next time you're tempted, remember this story and remember that Jesus is with you. He will help you resist temptation. Hello everyone, it's time to play Picture Pixel Puzzle. Correctly guess the image before it comes into focus. Ready, go! If you said bread, you're correct. After not eating for 40 days, the devil tried to have Jesus turn stones into bread. But Jesus knew that trusting in God was the real source of life. You see, kids, it's not a sin just to be tempted. We know that because Jesus was tempted himself, and he never sinned. But this story teaches us some really important ways that we can learn from Jesus when we're facing temptation. Oh, oh, can I guess? I bet I know what to do. Sure. Okay, well, first, Jesus was fasting and praying, right? So uh, we can pray. Yes, definitely. That's always a good thing to do, and especially when we're facing temptation. In fact, Jesus once told his disciples to watch and pray so that they didn't fall into temptation. Okay, okay, and uh, let's see. Oh yeah, every time Jesus was tempted, he knew just what to say. He remembered something from the Bible. Right again. 
Jesus had hidden God's word in his heart. He memorized it. So he knew what was right and wrong, even when the devil was trying to trip him up. So you can pray and use the Bible. Anything else? One more thing. Jesus also knew to say no to temptation right away. No. Say it right away. No. Yeah, I think I can do that. I bet you I can do it really fast. Like, like when temptation comes, I just go, no. No. <laughs> oh, watch how fast I can do it. Ask me something. Um, are you going to watch the show? No! <laughs> See how fast that was? Oh, I like this, Doug. I like this a lot. <laughs> okay, good job, Dusty. You know, why don't we take a look at our verse from the Bible, which will show us even more about temptation and how we can resist it. But first, it's the Go Get Your Bible dance. Go get your Bible, go get your Bible, go get your Bible, Bible. Okay, take it away, trusty. Thanks, Doug. Our Bible verse today comes from Hebrews chapter 4, verses 15 to 16. Let's look it up together. To find the book of Hebrews, we need to go to the New Testament. Then we look for the big number 4 and the little number 15. It says, We have a high priest who can feel it when we are weak and hurting, who has been tempted in every way just as we are, but he did not sin. So let us boldly approach God's throne of grace. Then we will receive mercy. We will find grace to help us when we need it. Do you know who the high priest is that this verse is talking about? That's right, it's Jesus. Jesus is always our friend. He is there to help us, and when it comes to temptation, he knows just what we're going through. Whether we need Jesus' help to find a way out of temptation, or to forgive us when we sin, we can always count on our friend Jesus. Thank you. 
All right, everyone. It's what you've been waiting for. Quizzical questions with your host, Dane Show Doug. Answer a question from today's Bible story to win. Here it comes. What is a good way of overcoming temptation? A. Praying and asking Jesus for help. B. E, remembering what the Bible says. C. Saying no quickly. Or D. All of the above. Let's see what you have to say. I think the answer is all of the above. That's correct. Thanks for playing Quizzical Questions with your host, Game Show Doug. Now let's get back to the lesson. If you would like to be featured in the What Do We Learn Today game show, head over to faithful.com and send us a message. Hey Doug, ask me if I'm going to watch that show. Go on, ask me. Okay, um, are you going to watch the show? No! Oh, this is so fun. Okay, uh, do another one. Ask me another one. Um, are you going to eat cupcakes before they're... No! <laughs> are you going to chew my slip? No! Well, actually, um, I'll do my best. You know, uh, I'm a work in progress after all. I suppose so. Okay, uh, maybe I'll go see if Amelia's still playing outside. Or maybe she'll still want to play with me. That's a good idea. Okay. All right, kids. Thanks so much for watching this lesson on temptation. Remember all that we talked about for the next time you're facing temptation. Also, know that if you do make a mistake, God is there to forgive you. Jesus died on the cross to do that very thing, to forgive us for the times that we mess up. Well, why don't we close with prayer? Bow your heads with me. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your son Jesus, who showed us how to resist temptation and who also died on the cross to forgive us for when we fail. Jesus, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We pray all of these things in your name. Amen. All right, boys and girls, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.